يعني هاي قد ما هي متواضعة طبعا هي متواضعة كثير واسلوبها حلو يعني شوف شلون تحسس بالطفل الصغير انه يعني بس غلطت لبست القلادة تبعيتها من لطفة هي قد ما هي لطيفة كثير جدا And that's my impression of Zachary in spite of terror and war and crisis um, unbelievable trauma and psychological fatigue. Syrians are um, a really touchingly resilient people, and I'm so proud to be working with UNFPA to help empower and protect their sexual and reproductive health. There's very high educational attainment for women, and yet fewer than 18% of all Jordanian women are in the labor force. So it's forward and progressive and also held back. And those are the same things that I experience as an American woman. The last time I checked, rapists have paternity rights in 22 states in the US. And so when we are so quick to talk about all of that gender-based violence over there, we need to take a hard look at the way we still treat girls and women in the United States. So what they face, although I live in a stable country politically and I have always had access to education and safe drinking water and clean sanitation, you know, finance, um, I'm allowed to drive a car and own property. Um, I'm not under the care and control of my dad until the age of 30, like Jordanian women are. Um, I have the same, you know, like the online gender violence that I experience that I'm fighting with the Women's Speech Project. We're all in this together. And so I don't think we should make their, their challenges any different than our own. It's a common struggle for development. We are all developing countries. And I'm so glad to be a part of UNFPA's work of protecting and empowering the health of girls and women all over the world. We have 225 million women of reproductive age in the world who don't have access to modern family planning and choices about when to have babies and how to space those births. And that's what we're here to do at UNFPA, give them choices.